Good morning, Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament family. Coming back to you because I had product that came in. Uh, a few things to put to bed before we get started on what I had come in. Uh, we've only got three days today and two more days beyond today for the end of the tournament. Wow. 100 days has already passed since March 20th. Well, let's see, three days, 97 days, excuse me. But, uh, Wow, you know, so I want to give a big shout out to uh, Lou Roberto of Get Hooked, uh, Mark Perry and Kathy Moulton of uh, Two Fresh Fishing, Nicholas Roberts of Angling Addicts of the Pacific Northwest, um, also to Terrence Downing of uh, Two Fresh Fishing, and to the Northwest Bass Hole Fishing Crew. And I want to thank everybody for everything that they have done in help facilitating uh, the running of this tournament, it, you know, despite the COVID-19, uh, it has turned out to be quite a tournament. We've had large numbers of fish turned in, large numbers uh, in weight that has come in. I haven't done all the tallies up yet, but I will. Uh, but it, it's quite impressive. Um, the turnout for the tournament was a little depressed uh, this year just due to the COVID-19, but we do have 21 possibly 22 uh, winners this year of prize boxes. So well done, Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament family. And to all the sponsors of this tournament, thank you so much for your help. We couldn't have done what we managed to do this year without you. Okay, first off, let's get into the products that came in today. Um, I had two proprietors that got stuff to me. Um, so let's get this taken care of. Arthur Schwartz of Attack Custom Baits has uh, done up some stuff for me and this is one of them. It's kind of like, you know, like a bloody shad. It's a uh, square bill crank bait. Beautifully done and the hooks on this thing are just super sharp. Um, <laughs> I managed to hook myself prior to turning on the camera and thank goodness I didn't need a band-aid and I was able to extricate the hook without uh, bleeding too much so <laughs> but it's just absolutely gorgeous and I want to say thank you to Arthur for what he's done just beautiful and this I will be putting up in a giveaway another bait that Arthur has done up is this one here his take on a blue on a bluegill pattern just absolutely gorgeous look at this Outstanding clear coating. It's another square bill. And uh, the attention to detail on this thing is just absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Arthur. Now, the, uh, the main body of what Arthur sent me, I put in a fairly large order uh, for his work, and I saw something that I really liked, and it kind of tripped my trigger, and I says, got to have it. And I wanted to bring it to you because this is what will be going into next year's prize box. One of the items. Of course, I'll be going back to Arthur for more. Uh, it is this yellow craw pattern on this two and a half inch square bill crankbait. Look at those red eyes on that. It's like something out of a nightmare. And then with, I would call it, uh, you know, a uh, yellow jacket coloring for this particular crankbait. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I got a lot of these in. And uh, they will be going into the prize boxes for next year's tournament. Yes, people, despite, you know, the economic turn down, despite COVID-19, uh, and despite all the challenges that we've uh, encountered this year, we are going to do it again next year. So be sure to join us next year for uh, the fourth, animal, fourth annual Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament. We'd love to have you and see your catches again. One more time on this. Do you think you can catch bass with this? I know I could, and if you can't, well, there's nothing I can do to help you. <laughs> so, except maybe send out more baits in, you know, giveaways. Maybe that'll help. Anyway, <clears throat> the second proprietor that uh, sent stuff to us was Yakov Levy of Hebrew Texas Fishing Lures. And I put in a very large order for this particular bait. I use it a lot. I hook up consistently with it, and so I continue to put in orders for this particular bait in order to bring it to you, and it will be going into next year's prize boxes. What we have here 
is the six inch fatty wiggler in kryptonite and it's an eight count in the bag i love these particular worms they are very thick one of the thicker worms that i have ever used and they are uh, very durable and the bass just can't seem to say no it's definitely bass candy love using this one more time let's take a look at that if you don't have anything from Yaakov Levy, you know, look him up on Facebook. You can find him. Outstanding customer service and great product. And he does custom colors, so he can always hook you up with something. Um, now, Yaakov has sent uh, some extras, and it's for you all, and we're going to do a giveaway with it. And I will get that posted up on Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament. Or, uh, no, I'll post it up on Northwest Bass Holes Fishing. Um, that way, you'll all be able to add into the comment section and, uh, you know, facilitate what we need to do in order to get these out to you. First, let's start with the crappie baits. And what we have here is the 2.5 uh, Dilly Dunker in Lemon Cream. And this little nugget of fishing joy, this particular color, the tail and the ribbed swim action on this thing is just going to, you know, help you facilitate hooking up crappie. I imagine in some places bass would hit this too. We also have the 2.5 inch Jacob Dunker Shad in Ember to Ashes. Beautiful little piece of work here. That little swim tail is going to attract attention. One of the biggest bass I've ever caught down in Florida was on a um, crappie bait. That big bass was hiding behind a rock and I just literally dropped it right on top of him and he inhaled it. Long story short, he went left, I went right, I went right, he went left, and then he went under the bridge, wrapped me around a pylon, and broke me off. But not before he jumped and showed me his sign, uh, the size, <laughs> and it just broke my heart. But oh well, that's why it's called fishing. All right, people, here we go. We have the 2.5 inch Texas Shad. It's called the Thumpin' Todd in purple and green. Now, I know that this fluorescent green tail is going to attract a lot of attention, and, uh, you know, crappie will not leave this thing alone. Bluegill will hit this, and I'm sure bass would not turn up their nose at it either. All right, now we have here the 2.5 inch te uh, Texas Fork Grub in candy lipstick. And it kind of looks like the, uh, well, what was the other one that we had? It was the uh, Dilly Dunker Lemon Cream. Only it's got that long fork tail on it instead of uh, the flared tail like on the lemon cream. Beautiful looking little bait. And uh, I know that this is going to work wherever you put it to work. And it, it's going to be a multiple species bait. Now, we got those four that will be going out. And we have... 6-inch Texas Fatty Wiggler in the goldfish color. Beautiful piece of work here. And if my goldfish colored crankbait hooks up bass, why wouldn't this? I think they're going to be all over it. Then we also have the Texas Fatty Wiggler, 6 inches, in electric pearl. A very interesting color, very subtle. And, uh, of course, it's the uh, same size and shape as the uh, uh, kryptonite green, and it's a durable bait. So I can't imagine why this wouldn't work. I think it's interesting, and I'm just sad, really sad, that I don't have some of these for myself to put them to work. I'm going to send it to some lucky individual out there, and they can put it to work and you know, regale us with the story and make us all feel jealous because they got it. And they got to put it to work. All right. <clears throat> what we have here is uh, milk belly goldfish. Okay. I would have said uh, it looks more like a creamsicle. You, you know, like you used to get when you were a kid. You know, the orange creamsicle and with vanilla ice cream. You know, ice cream truck would go by. Ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. Used to love those. And if bass like ice cream, like the lemons or like the orange sickle, this is definitely going to work. And this one, I thought about keeping it for myself, but nope, I like you all enough that I'm going to put it up. And what we have here 
is the 10 inch Israeli Wiggler in smoke and water. Kind of a blue gray with uh, blue and white pepper flake in it. And it's got kind of like that flat, fat tail. Say that five times real, real fast. Flat, uh, I'm not even gonna try, I'm already messing it up. But anyway, uh, just a beautiful bait, 10 inches long. Uh, you can run that up your line, set the hook down towards the tail, and boom, away you go with it. So I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Yaakov Levy of Hebrew Texas Fishing Lures. You can find him on Facebook and also to Arthur Schwartz of Attack Custom Baits for his contributions uh, to the uh, Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament for next year and the two baits that will be going out in the giveaway with Yaakov's uh, baits that he sent for the giveaway. Outstanding, beautiful pieces of work. And I think it's uh, definitely something worth going for. So everybody out there, um, thank you for your participation in the tournament. Thank you for supporting uh, our proprietors out there. Thank you for supporting the pages and everything that you're doing, despite what's going on with COVID-19. You all rock and you're getting it done. So outstanding job. Pat yourself on the back. And look for us again next year for the fourth annual Super Bass Hole Fishing Tournament. We are going to do it again. So uh, until I come back to you again out there, another big thank you to Yaakov Levy and Arthur Schwartz for everything that they have sent to us that is going to be going out to you. So have a blessed day. And remember, no matter where you're at, each and every one of us is northwest somewhere. Bye-bye for now.